Uh, Lee, you might be wondering what this is doing in front of me. You might be wondering what it is. Yeah, it looks a little odd. Yeah, doesn't it? It's a glass containing three walnut shells and the small elusive P at the base. Can you see it? Yeah. Now, this is perhaps the oldest form of gambling in America today. No one seems to know the origin. Well, this came first predating, predating the three-card Monty. But it's a very, very interesting game. Swindle. It's not a game. We're not going to play for money. All make-believe. Huh? Okay. Now, there's a little doggerel that goes with this. A little game of hanky-poo. Two shells for me and one for you. Hi, diddle, diddle. It's the one in the middle. Now, obviously, that P cannot be in two places at the same time. Now, remember, the P is contained in the center shell. I do not palm it out. I move this one forward, this one back, and I do that. Lee, I ask you one question. Which of these three shells do you think contains the P? Well, I, I think I saw it. Oh, uh, you have fast well, eyes. Yeah, I'm Which one? Quick if we were betting. Right well, obviously, you know something that the average man doesn't know. See, the average sucker, pigeon, apple, would bet this one. Yeah. You bet this one but I venture to say that it's always the one that you least suspect. Oh. Now, Lee, am I working too slow? Should I speed it up? Oh. Slow it down. All you're, right. You're charging. Now, look, sometimes a glass is brought into play or any container that might fit over any one of the three shelves. I see. Do you understand that? Yes. Now, the P is first covered with center shell. Mm -hmm. It's not here, and it's not here. There it is. Hi, diddle, diddle. It's the one in the middle. Yeah. This is pushed forward, covered with the glass, so that we know the P to be beneath the shell contained underneath the glass. Do you understand that? I think so. It's yes. a little confusing, but I think so. Well, let me start all over again. We know that that P cannot be in two places at the same time. Obviously, it's not here, and it's not here. Sometimes, Lee, the shells are held in this rather peculiar fashion. See? Negating one hand. Now watch this. The P is first covered with a center shell. Do you understand that? Right. So then, if I move the shells in this direction, or in this direction, it should remain tantamount to paramount that that P is always under the center shell. Do you understand that? Yeah, that's logical. That's logic. Now watch. I cover it. Hi, diddle, diddle, it's the one in the middle. I move the shells in that direction. Rest assured, you should never play this game, Lee, because when you do, and the bets are placed and posted, that P is not where you suspect it to be. Now, Lee, it's not here. I'll give you a chance between these two. Which one, if you were a betting man? And now we're in a gambling mood. Well, that's, uh, you've got me in a quandary now. I think maybe this one. I'm glad you said that because more than likely the sucker, the apple, would always go for the one, uh, that one. You went for this one, but as I said at the very beginning, it's always the one that you least suspect. Uh, sure. Lee, am I working too slow? Should I speed it up or slow no, it down? No, I'd like to take it behind the scenes, Lee. Of course, when the shell man gets up in the morning, this is an exercise that he goes through every day before eating his cornflakes. Now, bear in mind that I only use one P, but I could sit here all afternoon and prove to you that I had a P beneath that shell, a P beneath that shell, a P beneath that shell. Do you understand? And a P beneath that shell. When the truth of the matter, Lee, is that there's no P beneath any shell. When, in fact, what the eye sees, the heart must never believe, because there's a P there, there's a P here, and there's a P there. When the truth of the matter is that there's no P beneath any shell. That's what they call the nuts. Well, that's really something. <laughs>